but it also marks a period during that big stock crash and all of us lost faith in financial institutions and Bernie Madoff became the face. And we've always wanted to know, how could this have happened? What did people know? What was it like? There is one person who bears no stain from the situation but all of the pain. That is Stephanie Madoff Mack. She lost something nobody else did. She lost the most important person in her life. And now she tells the story in this new book. And it's something you're going to want to see and read. Stephanie says in her book that Mark lost both of his parents on the day Bernie confessed. That's because he refused to see his mother Ruth as long as she stood by Bernie's side. He couldn't understand how she could continuously stand by this man who ruined so many lives, who ruined his life. It was now October 2009 and Mark was still haunted by his mother's decision. Stephanie lashed out begging Mark to deal with his mother head on instead of being eaten up inside. But Mark told her he just couldn't and instead did something much worse. He said, you know what, I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave. After about an hour and a half, I, I, got, I started to get scared. Fear would turn to panic after she checked the medicine cabinet and all the pills were gone. And I was so scared. By 8 o'clock in the morning, I thought the worst. And I saw out of the corner of my eye a man come in and just go onto my bed. And it was Mark. And I was so happy. And I, like, this is one of the most difficult parts of the bug for me. This is not easy to relive. So anyway, so when he came back, and he was completely out of it. He was out of it. He had taken pills. He'd swallowed about 30 Ambien and 30 lorazepam pills, something like that. He tried to kill himself that night. Mark was admitted into a psychiatric ward after his suicide attempt, where he issued an ultimatum to the mother, who he thought had betrayed him. Mark said that she, he will never speak to her again unless she stops all contact with Bernie. And it doesn't happen. My husband is lying in a psych ward, just swallows 60 plus pills to try and kill himself. And you're still gonna stand by Bernie, a monster? What would make him take his life? What was it about his mother that made him so upset? These are the big questions, and only Stephanie can answer them, and she does in the book. Hey, Chris, you've spent so much time on this story, and you really believe those brothers, they knew nothing about this. Here's what I believe as an attorney. There's no reason to believe they knew. We all think they knew because of their name. All the different investigative agencies, not even the subject of an investigation, never a charge. But it was a stain. Again, Mark felt he'd never get away from it. It consumed him. Right, that, that